In the year 20XX AD, war was beginning. A vicious army of robots is spent on destroying the world. And behind this destruction is... I love how Dr. Light just stands there. Proto Man! Howdy, 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 everybody! Welcome to Gomer Plays Mega Man 5 Redo! Yes, for those who are new to the Redo series, I'm basically going back through games I've played through before. It's been a few years. I did the original run of the first six Mega Man games back in 2010. Uh, I did Mega Man 7 in 2011, 2012, around there. And quite honestly, I can do better with those runs. I can clean them up a little bit more. Uh, the original runs, of course, are on YouTube. But these are basically just kind of clean them up a little bit, get them more in line with how I like to do things. And plus, it's a Mega Man game. You can take them in multiple multiple directions. Um, so yeah, that's what the Redo series is about, is uh, going back and saying, hey, I can improve on this. So that's what I'm doing here. So first off, I'm going for Charge Man. Why? Because I'm a masochist. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Ah. It's a good thing I'm not going for a perfect run. Ah. And it's also a good thing that the Mega Man letters you can get this game, which I will explain in just a little bit, don't require any major robot master weapons. At most, maybe a rush coil. Ah. This is the game that also introduces beat, and to get beat, you need to get those letters, so. I guess I explained the letters sooner than I thought. <laughs> That's alright. Ah, How I've been taking this these uh, Mega Man games since I've been doing the redo series. Initial, the initial fights, I'll do Buster only so I can take them in any order I so choose. And I don't really have any set path. Really, I just kind of just say, okay, uh, I kind of want to do this one, then I want to do this one. It's just mostly random. And Charge Man, like I said, I am a masochist. Hi. Ooh, one up. Yay! Happy Mega Man head. They're good for one ups, extra lives, and they're also good for uh, covering up boobies in a review. Ooh, wow. That was a cracky voice. I'm actually doing pretty well so far. Ah, uh, but that will all change once Charge Man attacks. Ugh. Because he is a pain in the ass. Uh-huh. And this also will give me a chance to showcase how Rush Coil has changed. Instead of just jumping off, he literally takes you up there. That was such a pain in the ass to get used to. Thankfully, this is the only game where Rush does that. I don't know why this is here. Because all you can do is just suicide, and, and that's all you can really do. Wee! Hi! Hello, Mr. Choo Choo Met. Choo Choo Met! Ball throwers! Yay! They throw their balls around. Be careful, you will be explosively teabagged. Hmm. Uh. What? Whoa, that was close. Can I make it to Charge Man without taking damage? I think I have. Uh, come on. Thank you. I'm fighting on a train. I'm fighting on a train. Here we go. Charge Man. In my practice playthroughs, I've hated this guy. So he has no... Uh, things like that. You try and jump over him, he immediately turns around on you. And he is too goddamn wide to jump over like that. Usually. Oh, you bastard. Come here. Oh, you motherfucker. Come here. You want to try again? You want to play? Want to play? Want to play? That's what I thought. Come here. Thank you. Wow, I actually did better. <laughs> Oh, 
But yeah, you're not going to get me to perfect run this guy. Ah, I'm just not. Rome Mithril, you have that one, man. You you got mad respect for that one. Ugh. But we get his weapon. They say this is one of the more useless weapons. I don't know. I think it depends on the situation, really. I get, I mean, in terms of being more or less universally useful, I can understand. But uh, this will actually come in handy later on in the game. So yeah, that's one robot master down. Seven more to go. Uh, we did, we did all right. So uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, you can do the usual like. If you're not already subscribed, subscribe away. Leave, leave me some comments. Constructive criticism is always welcome. And until next time, this is Gomer the Ranting Thespian, signing off.